My name is Pierre Gobin. I am professor of radiology in neurosurgery and neurology, and I'm director of the uh, neuroendovascular service. And this consists in the minimally invasive treatment of uh, disease of the blood vessel of the brain and face and spinal cord. This patient arrived with a bleeding in his brain and uh, we made the diagnosis of a subarachnoid hemorrhage. I'm specialized in treating blood vessels of the brain and the face and the spinal cord. I'm also specialized in the treatment of brain aneurysms. This is the internal carotid artery going up into the brain, then it divides into several branches and this branch here, called the middle cerebral artery, is giving this aneurysm here. I see two populations of patients. One population is patients who arrive in emergency because something went awfully wrong with their brain, because they had a blockage of a brain artery and an acute stroke, or because they had rupture of an aneurysm and an acute bleeding in the brain. The second population of patients that I am treating is patients that come to my office with various neurological symptoms, such as a seizure or a headache. So what we are going to do is fill the aneurysm with tiny platinum coil that will fill it completely so that blood doesn't go in anymore and the patient is protected against another bleed. This is called minimally invasive neurosurgery because we do everything without opening the brain. So this is an example of a minimally invasive procedure that uh, we performed. This is a four-year-old with a very advanced cancer in the eye and we are going to inject into the eye a drug at a very high concentration. The big benefit is that there is no need for recovery time. So what we have done, we have placed this small plastic tube called a catheter into the artery in the groin and from there we are advancing it until we reach the ophthalmic artery. And so instead of delivering our chemotherapy drug into the entire body, we will deliver only into the blood vessel of the eye to achieve a very high concentration. We are doing very interesting research on how patients do after carotid stunting. We have observed that there is a population of patients who have the decrease in their intellectual performance and that is due to the narrowing of the blood vessel going to the brain, specifically of the carotid artery. And by uh, doing this procedure called carotid stunting, we can give them more blood flow to their brain and restore uh, some uh, intellectual function. About 20% of patients after carotid stunting tell me that they feel much brighter than before. They feel that uh, the sky is sunny again. Is this painful? No. This patient has a brain AVM. AVM means anterior venous malformation. And we are doing this testing today, this uh, cerebral angiogram, to evaluate exactly the AVM, how big it is, if there is anything inside the AVM that can tell us that it is a high-risk AVM, and then to decide on potential treatments and uh, what is the safest option that we can offer her. Most decisions for uh, patient treatment are made by a multidisciplinary team with neurologists, neurosurgeons, neuroradiologists, and then we come up with a plan the safest, the best plan that we will offer to the patient and his family.